we have two minutes time, so I hate that kind of <laughs> <laughs> It's all the time ticking, the time is going. <laughs> so the there ice is, is melting. Clock. Yeah, <laughs> ice is melting. So I would love to ask the question from the audience if, you, if there is any questions or if there is an urgent need to give funding or money to, <laughs> to our, our film fund, and we can start the Kamchatka project in, in tomorrow. So please. Um, no, oh, there is one question, no microphone. There is one. So uh, it's one way to help you to have a lot of polar film festivals. We do a, a polar film festival at the Explorers Club in New York. Uh, there's ah. uh, a polar film festival in Alaska. Mm. Uh, is there a way to help build the brand by having, uh, in fact, there's polar films here at, uh, uh, here at Arctic Circle. Would that be one way to help you? Uh, get the market and get that out. I, I just had watched Sundance grow, you know, during my life to be from from something very little to something very big. Thank you. What about? Yeah, um, maybe I can. Uh, um, yeah, I think that's a wonderful um, invitation, and uh, we would love to to talk more about that. And uh, and of course, the festivals are are the, the places to meet people. So I, I think that's, uh, that's very good. We are coming to so, New York. Yes, <laughs> we will talk. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> there is a question. Uh, thank you. I, I just wonder, is there an indigenous people's production studio? Not yet, but soon. <laughs> <laughs> is that what is that Second year's mine. <laughs> uh, well, we can comment on that. Um, that's a, also a very good uh, question. Um, and it is what we are talking about and what we are building, because we, we feel that it's important to have uh, indigenous peoples in the key creative, like producers, directors, script writers, in order to have um, our own voices out there. So not, not only uh, films about indigenous people, but films uh, from indigenous people from within. Uh, in in Sami, it's growing our film industry. So we have a few uh, bigger Sami film production companies who are now taking the step into bigger productions like series, drama series, and feature films. We had a very successful uh, Sami f feature films a few years ago, Sami Blood by director Amanda Kernel. And she has won awards all over the world, Venice and Tokyo, all over. And uh, so it's, um, this will also come, like you are talking about also. It's, it's multiplying. So, yeah. And with the right support, of course, it will speed up the potential. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah. so the organization I'm with, Neotero, is, is focusing on uh, storytelling, yeah. all by indigenous storytellers. Yeah. The board is indigenous yeah. and our one of our highest priorities is to, to find the financing and the team to yeah. create an indigenous people's production studio. So let's yes. talk. And yeah, I, we I, should also talk. We yeah. should but talk, I, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's immensely important that also that if, if the Arctic uh, Indigenous Film Fund is, is to be, uh, you know, strong, that it, that it can participate in, in bigger productions <laughs> in a way that that's also part of how you get your voice is with money that comes with you. So then they sit at the table because it's, for me it's very important also to get into, because you have to get this message out. Mm. It, 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 there's a way to break this kind of, because it tends to be in small festivals, which is absolutely wonderful, and I'm not diminishing that, but if you get into the bigger, bigger uh, you get into the shelves of the stores. It's like when you're selling something, you need to get into the shelves of the store. You need to get on the platforms. You need to get, because if it's about telling the story of these people, then it has to be seen. And it has to be put in a, in a place where, and, and in a production that people will watch. And yeah. I think that's where I come in and want to help, you know, because I, I've, I've, I've worked on that and managed to get, you know, Icelandic stories or do stories on a bigger platforms. And I think I would be incredibly happy if I could help you to get an authentic story mm -hmm. to, the, to the bigger audience. 
because that way you will be heard and seen and your culture will be, will be recognized in a, in a stronger way. Somehow I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this story. There is one question, it's the last question. My name is Sara Olsvi from Greenland and uh, I always, I'm always so proud to see indigenous uh, movies and, and filmmakers uh, actually creating a whole new story for the world mm. to see uh, on the lives that we live as indigenous persons and peoples. Um, back when I was in politics, I saw very clearly how difficult and how many barriers there could be for uh, filmmakers, for example, from Greenland, to reach those funds, to reach those, uh, that uh, money that is there for all other kinds of filmmakers in the world that are not indigenous. So I wanted to hear your, uh, your, uh, your view on, on if those barriers are still there uh, and, and what can be done to break down those barriers. Because what is similar for many of us indigenous peoples of the world is that we are quite few in numbers. And that also means that often our governments have quite little funding for films. Mm. So, but a film is equally as expensive to produce uh, almost uh, no matter where you are. So, so can you elaborate on, on these barriers and if they have actually been broken down or not? Yeah. Thank you. Very good question. Actually, indigenous peoples in the world, we are 400 million. So we are not uh, <laughs> so few, but under 10% of the Arctic, we are 400. 400,000. So, yeah. can you? No, I, I, th I think it's, um, uh, as you say, I, I don't know about whether it's been broken down, but I, I just know that it takes a lot to develop uh, a film environment. Mm -hmm. And it's very important um, to try to explain it to politicians or those who are um, potentially funding it that a long time will go without seeing anything. So be patient, you know, just, uh, it, it takes time. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, it's probably very much about building up a strategy because uh, Balthasar didn't start in Hollywood. He did something before, you know, I mean, it, it, so it takes, um, it takes time. And it also, uh, which is hard for all of us here in the small territories, uh, small nations, is that uh, there is a certain critical mass, as you say, um, it's as expensive to make a film in, you, it takes as much wherever you are. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a little bit like a, a taxa, you know, taking a taxi. There's a certain um, a starting fee that you just have to accept. Um, yeah. And then the, the rest comes. I think also it's very- but There's a Nordic film fund, you know, yeah. uh, or, or like, but, but uh, we, and we pay into that, you know, for Nordic, Nordic films, yes. you know, mostly yeah. goes to Scandinavian films. Yes, uh, all, the, all the partners. So if, all the if partners. you could maybe I mean, be in this, partners in this fund, yeah. it would be. And why can't we have an Arctic Indigenous mm -hmm. Film Fund that yes. we, we support, you know, uh, you know it's all these, at least the Nordic countries mm -hmm. yes. for co-productions yeah. and other things like that. That's my, that's my dream, that, that those countries like Sweden, which could do a lot better, you know, and uh, to, to the Sami people at least, those countries step up and, 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 and you know, we are here talking about, you know, the Arctic and, and, and step up and support this in a meaningful way. I think it's, there is, there, there, this is the time, you know. We, you know, this is the moment of, of the light has been shed on it and I think, and it has to go together. You can't just talk about the land and the ice and not the people, you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I think it, it has to come together. And the importance to get our stories out. Yeah. Yes. And, and if I can just add to that, uh, we, what we experience is that there is a growing interest in, in our stories, also from the commercial big mm. uh, industry like Disney and the Frozen 2. I was working uh, with the filmmakers of Frozen 2 and a very close collaboration, so there is also this commercial interest in the market. So. So uh, we really feel that uh, now is our time, and, and, and we really have to. It's important that yeah. somebody like you I, is talking to the frozen people, because there can be a damage done to a culture like this for, yeah. for, for ages yeah. if it's wrongly portrayed, you know. And, uh, language. Yeah, and, and I, it's, it's immensely important. This goes everywhere. Every kid in the world is going to watch this. You know? yeah. self reflect And now I, we have to stop. <laughs> 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 so. Very much thank you. Thank you for listening to us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.